Definitely my downfall was alcohol. I could not stop drinking. I got involved in prostitution to support my habit. <laughs> you know, my life was a mess. The bottom of my pit was deep. It was passed out on the floor of an abandoned building, coffin blood, mentally lost track of all reality. So I went out on the Ross Island Bridge and I was gonna jump off of it. I got up on the rail and just, you know, one step away and a car drove by full of kids and they said, jump you effing loser. Something told me, is that the last thing you want to hear on this earth? Is that what you want to go out here in? And I stepped down off the rail. I ended up in Old Town down here by the mission. I had $10 in my pocket and I was looking for that last hit to score and I could not find anything anywhere. And I had gotten to a point where I just started weeping and crying. I didn't have anyone to turn to. I didn't have anything to turn to. I didn't have any sense of rescue. Um, so I walked across the Burnside Bridge and I, I showed up in front of Union Gospel Mission at 6.30 in the morning waiting for a sack lunch. And that night I got down on the floor and I just, I asked Jesus to take over for me. I knew that that's what I had to do. So that was a huge turning point. And uh, one of the people from down here, I think a guy that used to come to the mission to get meals, said, I know where to take you. So that was a huge turning point for me. And um, I knew that I was loved here and I knew that I was accepted no matter what I had done no matter what my past was. There's 200 people lined up there along a chain link fence waiting for a sack of lunch. And I made it to the front of the line as they were handing out the sack lunches. And the gentleman that was at the door handed me a flyer and told me about life change. <laughs> that was definitely one of the turning points. After I gave that to Jesus, my life, I surrender, it's yours, take it. He took it. He took that away from me. I didn't have that want for alcohol. As I came back to the mission and started going to Bible studies, um, started going to church on a regular basis, just the healing began. And not only did I know that I was forgiven, but I could start to forgive. I've been told my whole life, you can't, you won't. I believed it, but slowly, little by little, day after day, um, my faith changed. I, I got this ability to say it was okay to get up tomorrow. And that's the turning point, when you see the genuine love and care that, you know, people pour into you. I knew that I had been set free from the bondage of drugs, alcohol, prostitution. Not only am I grateful for where I am today, but I'm grateful for where I was that, that day 20 years ago when the doors were open at the mission. So I'm currently finishing my bachelor's degree in business administration at PSU, and I'll graduate with a degree in business administration with an emphasis in leadership and management. Today I am clean and sober. And, and I'm very thankful for what this family has done for me. Today I'm just very lucky to have been on the Ross Island Bridge and had God slap me in the side of the head and say, get down from there, I'm not done with you. I am happily married today. I have restoration with uh, all of my family members who are still living. I feel like a normal person. I'm a taxpayer. Uh, I <laughs> own a car. <laughs> you know, I do all the things that quote unquote normal people do. Um, you know, I'm not 
sucked down into that pit um, that I was 20 years ago. It's just beyond belief uh, what's happened in my life because of the sack lunch.